The movie starts by introducing us to the main character, Jim Dodge. He's portrayed as a confident man, often thinking of himself as having life all figured out. In reality, he lacks understanding and frequently talks without knowing what he's talking about. At his workplace, Jim gives monologues to a group of dogs. He takes pride in making up stories and lying on the spot. However, his reputation isn't positive, and people around him view him as ineffective when it comes to practical work. Jim's tendency to talk more than work becomes evident. He tries to impress kids with fabricated stories about his life. He claims to be rich and successful, but these are just lies meant to entertain children. Jim's constant talking alienates people around him, causing them to avoid him. Even dogs seem to be tired of his talking. He goes to a restaurant and boasts about his food experiences to waitresses. Currently unemployed, Jim seeks a job at a gas station and even offers to work for free. However, he's unaware that he has been fired multiple times by the same owner. The owner declines his offer and suggests he looks for better opportunities. Jim's attempt to impress a wealthy girl named Josie doesn't go well as his father intervenes, confronting him about his joblessness. Jim lies to his father, claiming he resigned instead of being fired. Despite his initial attempt to impress Josie, she leaves town, and Jim fabricates stories about seeing her around and having coffee with her. His father is surprised by Jim's lies. The next day, Jim's father takes him to a mall named Target, warning him to get a job or face consequences. Jim tries emotional manipulation, but his father clarifies he only wants him out of the house, not his life. At the mall, Jim interviews for a job with the mall director, who mistakenly thinks he's interviewing for another vacancy. Jim goes along with it and accepts a cleaning job for $4 an hour. As they conclude the interview, the director receives a call about a mix-up, but Jim accepts the cleaning job offer. Josie's wealthy father scolds her for her behavior, and she shoplifts at the mall later that night. Jim's boss explains his cleaning tasks, leaving him alone in the mall overnight. Jim protests, but the boss leaves without concern. The lights are set to go off, leaving only all lights on. The boss concerned about receiving a high electricity bill. Eventually, Jim becomes accustomed to the situation and starts cleaning. However, he encounters challenges while operating some of the cleaning equipment. During a break, Jim snacks at the store and then makes a call to his parents to discuss Christmas plans. However, his parents are uninterested and quickly end the conversation. As he continues cleaning, Jim explores the mall and even starts to enjoy himself. He drums and skates around the mall, spotting Josie. Startled by her presence, Jim falls onto some items in the mall. In the meantime, Josie's father reports her missing at the police station, prompting a search for her. Back at the mall, Josie explains to Jim that she fell asleep there. She admits to contemplating shoplifting but decided against it. She confides in Jim that she's unhappy living with her father, describing him as unpleasant. Feeling hungry, Jim uses the mall's microwave to prepare a meal for himself and Josie. He then mentions his father's occupation as a cement contractor, having poured cement for the pool at Josie's house. Jim's incessant talking becomes noticeable, even to Josie, who questions whether he usually talks so much. Surprisingly, Jim admits that he doesn't. Josie suggests that Jim should consider a career in sales, which leads to a discussion about their respective life situations. Jim shares that he has tried sales before but it didn't work out. After eating, they continue talking. Jim brags about smoking an expensive cigarette after meals, and Josie opens up about Jim being labeled the town liar. Although initially upset by the realization that people are calling him a liar, Jim quickly moves on and resumes talking. Josie suggests that Jim needs to be truthful about his aspirations or feelings about living with his parents. Jim responds that he wasn't lying earlier. They continue their conversation, discussing the negative aspects of their lives. Jim acknowledges that Josie wants to steal to escape her father, while Josie believes he's wasting his current freedom. They discuss Jim's discontent with his night cleaning job. Josie points out that they both fear living alone, preventing them from moving out. She proposes they run away to California, and Jim agrees after learning about her father's behavior. Josie reveals she has $52,000 in her purse, suggesting they use it to start a new life. They decide to run away together in the morning, dancing and eventually sharing a kiss. However, Josie's father and the sheriff arrive at the mall, looking for her. Jim lies to them about Josie's whereabouts. As they wait for the morning, they have fun together, unknowingly watched by two criminals. The crooks break into the mall, and Jim and Josie accidentally knock them out while skating. The crooks awaken, and Jim and Josie hide. 
the criminals eventually find them, and after a confrontation, they're tied up. Jim manages to trick and disarm them, and Josie drives away with the stolen merchandise, leaving the criminals stranded. Meanwhile, inside the mall, Jim arms himself with a shotgun and confronts the criminals, holding them at gunpoint. As morning arrives, the police officer finds the tied-up crooks. Jim and Josie escape, lounging by a pool in Hollywood, victorious in their escape. The movie ends here, thanks for watching.